Yugachik Poultry Breeders is a Ugandan family owned and run business established in 1992. It has since evolved into a vertically integrated poultry producer located in Mejije, 20 kilometers north of Kampala. Yugachik has five mutually dependent business divisions, a feed mill, a parent stock farm, a hatchery, a broiler farm, a processing plant, and a fish farm. At the breeder farm, parents' chicks comprising of Cobb 500 broilers and Iser brown layers are imported from the Netherlands. They are used to produce hatching eggs for commercial chicks sold to farmers. Layer parent chicks will be kept in the brooder for at least four weeks. On the other hand, the broilers' chicks will stay for twice as long in the brooder. This will give them two to three weeks to settle in before they start laying. They are checked for weight, shape of body, breastbone, and cob development. Only the healthiest birds will be used for laying. Around the farm, there is evidence that everything is done to maximize yield with maximum biosecurity. All vaccinations will be done. Yugachig keeps a ready supply of drugs and vaccines for use at the farm. The houses here have foot baths in which boots have to be dipped to reduce the bacterial load and pathogens. Feed delivery trucks and egg collection vehicles are the only vehicles allowed on the farm. Even then, they will be sprayed and they will have to drive through a disinfectant bath. Workers have to bathe and wear disinfected clothing. The overalls are color-coded to keep workers within specific work areas. An electric fence keeps the birds safe from animals and intruders. A lot of care is taken when building the houses to ensure they face an east-to-west orientation that enables the afternoon sun to never hit the side walls. By passing directly over the roof, the houses remain much cooler. The males in the flock will be reduced to 10% of the flock. The males have to be aggressive and have strong legs so as to mount effectively as this is a breeder farm. This is especially important for the broiler parent stock where the birds are heavy. The Yuga Chick produced feed is channeled through an automated trough feeder system that runs at intervals to provide tight control on how much the broiler birds will feed. They drink from nipples which drop water when the birds peck them. This helps save water and control the dispersion of drugs which may be given in the water. The layer parent birds will start laying eggs by week 19, but will take another four to five weeks before the eggs are big enough to be used for setting. Settable eggs will be between 50 to 70 grams, evenly colored and egg-shaped. Eggs laid on the floor and dirty eggs will be discarded. The birds will lay eggs up to week 75 at a rate of four to six eggs a week. A bird will lay about 305 eggs in its lifetime, peaking at week 25. The broiler parent birds will start laying at 22 weeks. The eggs will be taken to the fumigation room and fumigated. They will then be loaded onto a refrigerated truck and taken to the hatchery. This is done daily. Eggs are received at the hatchery twice a day from the broiler parent stock farm and the layer parent farm. They are taken into the cold room and left to settle. They are then sorted to remove eggs that will not hatch. This process removes eggs with hairline cracks, dirty eggs, very small eggs, and the very big ones. They are counted and labeled to keep track of the source birds. 1.2 million eggs will go through here every month. They are put on setter trays for incubation and loaded into the setter machines. During the first 18 days, the temperature, humidity, and ventilation are critically monitored. 
Eggshell temperature is monitored to ensure that machines run smoothly. Eggs are periodically rotated to ensure that all sides are evenly incubated. Alarms go off if there's a change in temperature or if the turning stops or if the door is accidentally opened or if the power fails. Workers respond to these alarms within minutes, 24 hours a day. After 18 days, the eggs undergo candling. A light shown below reveals infertile eggs or early mortalities that will be removed. A breakout analysis will examine why they are infertile and the farm will review the effectiveness of the males in the flock. The eggs are then put in the hatching machines for the remaining three days. On the 21st day, the eggs will hatch. Hatching will continue for around 24 hours with a hatch window controlled carefully. It is left long enough for most chicks to hatch, but not too long that the chicks which hatch first get dehydrated. Layers are easily sorted by color sexing as the males take the brown mother color. The white chicks are removed. The broilers are all white and do not undergo this treatment as all the birds have the same commercial value. Chick quality analysis samples the different chicks for weight, length, demeanor, and morphology to ensure quality at the market. Only the best chicks are selected. The layer chicks are vaccinated for Marex a few hours after hatching. They are then packaged and dispatched. They can survive in these boxes for 48 hours without food or water. Hatching is done on Sundays and Wednesdays, hatching around 110,000 broilers and 6,300 layers every week. Around 40,000 chicken will be delivered to the processing plant from contract farmers every week. Outgrowers whose farms are off the Yuga Chick structure will provide another 8,000 birds. The birds are inspected for weight and health. The birds will then be hung on a processing conveyor line. A stun bath will render the birds unconscious. They will then undergo a halal slaughter. They will be allowed to bleed for around 10 seconds to ensure that all the blood will leave the chicken. This is followed by scalding in a hot water bath. The line will then continue into the defeathering machine. This machine will pluck off all the feathers and the bird will emerge completely bare. Without stopping, a series of cuts are made to allow for the removal of intestines. The gizzards and liver are removed they will be sent to another part of the assembly line for further processing. The birds are washed and vacuumed. The head will also be removed at this stage. The legs will be cut off and the chicken will fall into the spin chiller. A dosatron constantly ensures that the chili tank is disinfected. This will kill off any bacteria that may be harmful to human beings or cause spoilage to the chicken. The water here runs at less than five degrees Celsius. The chicken will then be conveyed into the packing room. On this continuous line, the chicken will visit different stations. Chicken to be sold as whole birds is graded by weight and packed. At another station, chicken is deboned to make filet. Further down the line, it is cut into pieces, packed on styrofoam plates and wrapped with film. Some packs will have assorted pieces. Other pieces continue into the spiral freezer. This is a spiral conveyor in an enclosed space. Cold air is blasted at the chicken at minus 25 degrees Celsius. It freezes very quickly to produce individually frozen chicken pieces. 
The pieces are then sealed in different size packs. Some of them are made for bulk customers, like restaurants and hotels. This modern processing plant is capable of processing 1,500 birds an hour. The chicken will now be taken to the blast freezer. Running at minus 30 degrees Celsius, the chicken will be frozen hard in 8 to 10 hours, and then it will be moved to the cold rooms. These stores are actually freezers. Running minus 18 degrees Celsius, they can keep the chicken for up to a year if necessary. From here, refrigerated tracks will transport the chicken to various outlets maintaining the cold chain all the way. Cleanliness and hygiene is a big priority and the plant processes are ISO certified. The Yugatik Mill uses a wide range of raw materials that have to be locally outsourced from Ugandan farmers. The raw materials are checked and checked again, and only the best will be used. The grain will be filtered and dust blown out. Four silos each, with a capacity of 500 tons, store the grain. Other raw materials will be stored in the warehouses. The warehouses can take over 2,500 tons of raw materials. The feed mill is managed by food technologists who consistently ensure the highest standards of quality. Batches of raw materials go into the mixer, conforming to specifically developed formulas. The mill has two main lines, the marsh line for the marsh feeds and the pellet line. The marsh line will mill 8 to 10 tons of feed per hour. At the end of this line is the extrusion line, which produces floating fish feed and pellet broiler feed. The mill can be adapted to source feeds for dairy cattle, pigs, and dogs. The feed will be bagged and checked once again for quality. It is then sealed and transferred to the finished goods store ready for dispatch. On average, the feed mill will produce 500 tons of feed a week. The Namoisenye Cage Fish Project, located in Boyukwe District in Uganda, is a demonstration cage fish farm. It is here that Yugachik Poultry Breeders Limited test its fish feed before it is sold to farmers. The fish feed is produced at the main processing plant, 89 kilometers away in Majije. The fish farm rears Oreochromus niloticus, otherwise known as Nile tilapia, in 120 cage frames. There are over 300,000 fish here. The breeding is done in three ponds. The fish in the nursery, referred to as fry, is fed four times a day on crumble, a starter feed. The fry will be in ponds for around three months. Once a month, the fry that are 8 to 10 millimeters are transferred to the cages. Three times a day, a boat will set out to go feed the fish. The Yugachik fish feed floats on the surface for several hours. The fish will have to come up and feed. This makes it possible to monitor their health and vigor. It is also easier to adjust the amount of feed they will take, which eliminates waste that is common with traditional sinking feed. The nets on top of the cages will protect the fish from birds looking for a free meal. After six months, the fish will be between 300 and 500 grams. It will be ready for harvest. The farm produces around five tons of fish every month, with customers coming from as far as Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The farm has a target of reaching 500 cages, producing 10 tons every month in the medium term. The day-old chicks will be availed at the distribution centers by 3 a.m. in the morning. 
literally hours after they are hatched, and the farmers will come at dawn to pick them up. Farmers inspect their chicks to ensure they are in good condition and free of defects. The distribution centers are one-stop shops. Drugs and vitamins are made available here, and advice on their use is given. Farmers can also get feed from here. There are stores which ensure that farmers can buy in bulk just by walking in at any time. Yuka Chick now works with over 35,000 farmers. Sales representatives constantly engage these farmers at the distribution centers, at various trade shows, and even visit them at their farms. This is to ensure that the feeds are used properly and to give other forms of advice. For the dressed chicken, the refrigerated trucks will leave the processing plant and be at the distribution centers by 10 a.m. The chicken will be in the supermarkets by noon. The journey from a small poultry unit to this multifaceted organization has not been without challenges. Hiring and training the right people has been crucial to the growth experienced at Yuga Chick. As Yuga Chick has expanded, so has their quest to produce the highest possible quality. There is now a fully kitted in-house state-of-the-art lab, which carries out disease surveillance for the hatchery and the farms. They will analyze the feed, raw materials, and the feed quality for the feed mill with results obtained instantly. The quality of air for the processing plant, the general hygiene of the work surfaces, and also carry out microbial quality checks on equipment. This lab also checks microbial load on the product shipped out to ensure that the product is safe. Results are sent to Quality Assurance to ensure that the quality of Yuga Chick products is measurable and consistent. Yuga Chick has created a cycle that overcomes obstacles to demand for its products. Yuga Chick started with a breeder farm in 1992, importing parent chicks from the Netherlands. The chicks are bred into parent stock to produce eggs for the hatchery. The chicks produced by the hatchery were initially the main product Yuga Chick sold to farmers in form of broilers for those farmers rearing for the meat market and layers for the egg market. But then an obstacle. There was a lack of good feeds for both the breeder farm and farmers who bought the day old chicks. A feed mill was set up to supply this feed. It now also produces feeds for cattle, pigs, and other animals. It has also produced a floating fish feed since 2010. The availability of the fish feed has enabled Yuga Chig to venture into fish farming to meet the demand for fish in the region. Obstacle 2. There was a lack of demand for the broilers reared by the farmers buying the chicks. A processing plant was then set up to buy the chicken from the farmers and also create a product for the urban consumers in form of dressed chicken, whole chicken, and parts. Contract farmers get the day-old chicks, rear them, and sell them back to the processing plant, adding to the demand for the chicks and creating a source of chicken for the processing plant. This is an example of a company that overcomes challenges by innovatively creating backward and forward linkages. This has led to growth in scale and diversification. A recent upgrade and expansion of the processing plant and its systems has not only improved on the quality and the quantity of the dressed chicken, but it has also enabled Yuga Chick to produce a product in form of individually frozen chicken pieces. These pieces make it unnecessary to defrost a whole chicken in case a consumer needs just a few pieces. This opens up a new market, and these consumers are being reached through both traditional and new media. Other upgrades are being carried out as Yuga Chick seeks to launch even more new products. Yuga Chick Poultry Breeders is now one of the leading poultry brands in the region, with its products renowned for quality and reliability. Yuga Chick now exports day-old chicks to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania, Kenya, and Southern Sudan. Yuga Chick's aim is to become a partner of choice for all stakeholders in the poultry value chain, putting their customers and their customers' needs first. 
even as UGACHIC continues to grow, with emphasis being put on bigger and better tools, more refined methods, and more innovation. There is a greater commitment to ensuring that the name UGACHIC is synonymous with quality in Uganda, in the region, and beyond.